Alrighty, boys. UFC 272 is going to happen very soon. And we're going to start our fighter showcases with Edson Barboza. Edson Barboza is set to face Bryce Mitchell. I think it's going to be an interesting fight. Very interesting stylistic matchup between those two guys. Um, I'm definitely uh, going to go with Barboza on this one. Uh, I think he can get it done. Of course, on the same card, we've got uh, Rafael Dos Anjos versus Rafael Fiziev. Even though, I mean, although uh, that fight has actually been canceled right now, um, Rafael is out because he has COVID. And then, of course, the main event is Colby Covington versus Jorge Masvidal. Uh, we got Kevin Holland facing Alex Oliveira on the card as well. So we've got quite a few fighter showcases we're going to need to do. And we're going to start things off with Barboza. Very curious to see if, uh, like, who Rafael gets uh, replaced with. I know um, Dos Anjos is asking for Islam. So, we shall see. NC Ernesto. Anytime right now I run into a... Okay, jab, jab, jabs. Ah. Uh. The biggest issue you're going to run into while using Barboza, honestly, and some of you might disagree with this, you're going to realize or you're going to feel like he's a lot slower than he should be. You know, when you think about Barboza, a few things come to mind. Oh my god! Oh my gosh, ah! Uh. I don't want the round to start this way. A few things come to mind when, when you're using Barboza. Speed. You want... He's a fast man. Edson is a fast, fast man. Then you think leg kicks. Then you, then you think uh, creative, explosive striking. He's the definition of explosive striker, man. Like Everything he does is done with such speed and such explosion. But, when you use him in the game, he's not going to feel nearly as fast as, uh, as you would hope he would. And if you're facing someone with better boxing, you're going to have a hard time. Because I think there's something about the fact that his arms are long. I mean, look at his character model. His character model, these long arms, they will affect you. Like you will notice it as when you're trying to throw punches with Barboza, especially in the pocket. You'll notice, like, damn. Like, his hands don't move as fast as I want them to move. You know what I mean? Compare his character model to that of Anthony Pettis. Like, look at the arm length. Edson has, like significant especially like his um his forearms there's his forearms are comically long comically long just seems like so much longer than bicep and shoulder area you know and kind of like right i mean these jab jabs he keeps throwing it just interrupting everything up oh, <laughs> keep doing that a kick Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that was close. <laughs> that was a close one, dude. He could have rocked and sat me down right there and I would have 100% lost that round. I still think I lost that round, but uh we would have ended up losing the round even worse than we uh already lost it. So Okay. Ouch. One thing you guys have been asking me for is a uh, hand cam. Um, maybe I'll do it for the next few fighter showcases. I just got to figure out how to record it. Like record my controller and everything. I don't want to do it in the... Uh, like in the past... Oh! In the past when I've done hand cam videos, I actually record my actual controller. Like I put a camera on my hand and you see what my hand is doing. I, I don't just put a... A virtual controller on the screen. You know what I mean? 
And I think you guys prefer that because you get to see how I hold a controller. It gives you just a better idea of what I'm doing with my hands when I'm playing. So I think we're going to go back to that. I have to go find my DSLR. Set it up. Because for the most part, when I'm recording myself, I'm using my webcam. We have to go, uh, go, go find my DSLR camera and use it. Okay, bro. Okay. Jeez, Anthony Pettis has become quite a pain in the ass to you to, to fight in this game, bro. These players are just getting so good with Pettis. It's the one thing I didn't expect. I'll tell you guys that much. Do not expect Anthony Pettis to uh become quite the beast. that oh that is uh -huh. head like kick Okay, I gotta start doing something about these jab jabs he's throwing. Leg kick. There we go. And the leg kick. With that. Another one. Leg kick. Ugh. I mean, look at my head health. Oh, God. This is one more thing you're going to deal with while using Barboza. You're going to notice that his head health gets pretty low fairly quickly. Oh my god! Well, great job, bro. Great job. Great job. I am not salty at all. <laughs> Doing all that good work in the round and got freaking sat down at the end of it. God damn it. Oh! Like kick. Mm -mm. Jab, jab, jab. Oh, that was uh, not good. Not good at all. You know, if this dude... If this dude just... Like, goes ham on me right now. With pressure. Not only will he get a rock. He might actually finish this fight. Because my head health is very low. And my block is all butchered. That's, that's Barboza for you. Like, oh, there we go. There we go. I think he got the idea... That's it. Jesus Christ, that was very close. That was very, very close. If I wouldn't have pulled that spinning uh, back fist right there, it would have rocked me 100%. And then all he would really need is just to drop me, get on top, cycle through uh, hooks and crosses from guard, and that would have been it. That would have been it. That is the danger you come across when you're using someone like Barboza, man. Like, you could be doing a lot of good work. They sit you down once, you miss the up kick, they throw a few shots in guard and get you out of there. Anyways, let's move on. We are facing a lot of uh, Division 20 players today, which is good. It's good. You guys, you guys like that. You like when we when we have a uh, competitive matches. So, Michael Chandler. That is a fighter you don't see often. I mean, when's the last time you saw anybody actually pick Michael Chandler and ranked? And he's he's a very good pick. All right, let's see here.
What is he doing? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna have to up our offense. He's trying to take me down. We're gonna have to... A very good way to make him uncomfortable with shooting, especially a good player. Like, a player that's not good. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A player that's not good at the game and doesn't know how the game works, they'll just shoot. Like, you can, you can kind of exploit good players in the sense that because they know the risks, you can make yourself very scary to them. And there are a few risks they won't take. Like, a good player knows... When I'm being as active as I'm being right now, he knows. Dude, who knows when an uppercut will come? Who knows when a knee will come? He's throwing so much. If I shoot right now, who knows if it's going to be the same exact moment I shoot that I'm going to run into a, a random uppercut from nowhere. That's what a good player will think. That's, the, that's what they will be thinking in their head. And so you got to use that to your advantage. If they're trying to take you down. I say this all the time. If anything, force the shot. Don't let them take you down when they're well and ready. Make them take bad, bad shots. And you do it with what I'm, by doing what I'm doing right now. I'm pressuring them. I'm trying. I'm not just going to let him back me up. And I'm keeping... Oh, God damn it! Well, that was not part of the plan. I'm just going to say I'm keeping my work rate high. Body. All right, just want to relax a little bit. Yeah, here comes the issue you always have with Barboza, the goddamn head health. All right, good round one. He won uh he won the first round for sure. 100% I whiffed right there, and he sat me down with the left hook. Very good. We're going to have to make sure that every single time we spin on him, we're not uh, we're not doing dumb crap like that. We're gonna make sure that he's right in front of me, or at least moving in the correct direction. If I'm gonna spin on him, because um, this is how. Getting caught while trying to spin or whiffing. This is how fights end a lot quicker than they're supposed to, so. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I thought it was going to come in right there. I'm also having to be very careful because, like with Barboza, man, you just—he's more of a kicker than he is a puncher. Like you gotta, you gotta kick, you gotta kick. I'm trying to be very careful to make sure I am not getting punched while I'm trying to kick my opponent. Got to be clean kicks. I'm looking to spin on him again, but I want to do it. Damn, he was actually turning to the. No. To the body. Got him.
try my best to be very, um... Oh! Be very careful with, uh, with this guy right now. I was actually trying to spin on him right there, but, uh... Make sure we have the right angle before we spin. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. Make sure we got the right angle before we do it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. <laughs> All right. All right. Light kick. Oh my god, that, that light kick should not have landed. I literally saw my fighter slide into range to be able to land that light kick. <laughs> Uh, this game can be funny sometimes, man. All right. Let me know in the comment section if uh, you guys are enjoying it so far. Some high-level fights going on right now. Uh-huh. Thank you. Also, can't wait to play WWE 2K22, man. I, I can't wait. I'm looking forward to that game. I'm going to try to have as much fun with that game as I possibly can. Another one. A kick. Spins right there again. Whiff. No, 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 no. No, no, no. I guess now he's remembering that he can shoot takedowns. Oh, my God. This is exactly the sort of shit you gotta worry about. This is what I was saying about the other guy, man. If he, if this dude starts like to really pressure heavy, he would actually probably win this fight. But he has to believe. He's gotta believe. That's I me. Mean, might as well. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna stop him unless he goes berserk on me right now. That's his best chance. I mean, look at my head health. All he has to do is just whittle my block down a little bit, bleed through some damage, and he's gonna get a rock. Set him down. I'm in the same boat too. He's gassed out. Oh, -ho! and the fight is done. The Edson Barboza special. Spin to the head for the win. Boom. Donzo. All right. Look at that. Boom. Wheel kick as he's trying to go for an uppercut for the finish. Let's do one more fight. One more fight, and we'll call it a day. Be right back. Breezily. Now that. That. 2400 points, man. That's. Alright. Yep. Let's get it. Thank you. He's using uh, Dustin Poirier. You gotta be very careful with Dustin Poirier, man. Dustin Poirier is freaking nasty in this game, especially in the hands of a good player. I mean, he is difficult to deal with. He's very hard to deal with. 
And right away, I can tell this dude is freaking good, bro. Holy shit. All right, I think it's pretty clear what this fight's going to be. A lot of times, these fights end up being that way. Um, it's going to be a body health versus head health situation right here. I think that's that's what it's going to be. Me trying to kill him by destroying his body, and he'll try to take my head off. I think that's just what this fight's going to devolve into. Because you'll notice most of his attacks, I mean, he's re... Oh, Jesus Christ. The boxing from Dustin Poirier, man. I, I'm... I'm not going to be able to contend with that. I just won't. It will be foolish to try to outbox a good Dustin Poirier. It will just be retarded. So I'm going to just try to whittle down his body and maybe finish him through that. Oh, there's my spin. I'm trying to spin, but he knocked me out of it. He's so act. There we go. He's so active. Slowly deposit it in the in the bank, those body shots. Slowly but surely. Oh no. Spins right there. Maybe I'll take the risk closer to the end of the round. Just in case. Oh, okay. That's how that's how you wanna be. Not bad, not bad. Very, he's faking the takedown and then following up with a shot to the head. There's some very um, complex stuff that he's doing. I mean, a lot of what he's doing right now, it's like, it's stuff that you think about doing, but it's the execution, you know what I mean? Fake a takedown, of course. You fake a takedown, the opponent drops their hand. Then you can punch them in the head. But it's the execution, you know, because you got to fake the fucking takedown before then entering. And, and executing that on the con the controller is not, it's not very easy, man. Some of the best players in the world are players that are able to not only, in theory, know the right setups and what to do to create openings, but also have the technical ability to execute it on the controller. That's where I'm definitely lacking, like... Dude, I can come up with a killer game plan. I can tell you all the setups in the world. Like, I know what's going to work, but actually doing it on the controller. Got him. Actually doing it on the controller, that's where I I have a, a hole in my game for sure. There was a time when I actually couldn't throw the one-two body body punch combination in UFC. Like, my, I literally couldn't do it with my fingers. <laughs> there was a time when throwing the uppercut was, like, hard for me. It was difficult. Like, dude. You know, because the uppercut is it's two button combos. <clears throat> but, um, some of the best players in the world, they're able to just pick it up and just go. They just... They just go. Nice fake. With depositing, making deposits over and over again on his body. 
And of course, he's making deposits in my head, so we'll see. We'll see which one pays off in the end. One thing's for sure, though, I've gained his respect. I can tell he's being very cautious with me. Which, at the end of the day, that's, that's really what you want. I mean, you want... You want... You want to gain respect for your peers. You want your player, the person you're facing, to, to understand that you're quite dangerous. I think we both know. We both know what's up right now. Usually, I would try to go get him, but I, I can't with this dude. He'll just box my head off, so I got to be very careful. Nice. Very good setups, man. All right. Keep it going. Keep it going. To the body. Boom. Beautiful roundhouse to the body. Love the way it's set up. Another one. All right, all right, all right, all right. If you guys are enjoying this video, do not forget to leave a like on it. Def definitely helps out the channel. Your likes are always appreciated. I'm ready. Man, this month has been phenomenal. Like, phenomenal. I, I thank all of you guys, man. It's been just freaking insane. Usually, the months of January and February... Uh, things start to typically slow, I mean, get better, March, April, but typically the months of January and February on YouTube. Got him. Oh, I should have followed up with that. Typically the months of January and February are typically very bad. Very bad, but I'll tell you guys this, man. Like, it hasn't been for me. And UFC, the game's life cycle, I mean, it's... The game's been out for... What, over two years now? This is typically when everything starts to slow down. You know, you stop getting views on videos. People just literally lose interest. But that literally has not happened. <laughs> like, you know, you guys are still watching. Which is, it's either UFC 4 is just, it's either UFC 4 is just that the shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's way better, way more interesting than... A lot of people want to admit, or maybe uh, maybe we got something figured out here on this channel. I think a lot of it has to do with UFC 4, honestly. Um, like I, I know that quite a few of you will watch me regardless, but a vast majority of people subscribed for UFC 4 content. Like, I'm not delusional, I know that. Um, And so we're never going to stop with you with the UFC 4 content. That's always going to be like the main bread and butter of what I upload. But, like I said, we're going to start branching out like we already are. If the new game comes out, a combat related game, if it comes out and I find it interesting, I will play it. And I like the way you guys handled Sifu for as long as it lasted. I'm, I, might, I might still bring back Sifu, but I, I really appreciate how you guys handled it. Those of you that were not interested, you just didn't watch. You know, that's honestly all I can ask for. You weren't there bitching and moaning and complaining. You just didn't watch the videos. You just... And that's... That's good. That, that's maturity. So, same thing for this wrestling game. Once it drops next month and I start playing it, if you guys don't find it interesting, just... Wait for the UFC 4 content. It is not going to stop, okay? Like, I know that's what you subscribe for. I will always upload UFC 4. So. Oh! Oh my god, I wish he would have done that earlier. But then again. He knows what he's doing. He's a smart player. Typically, 
whatever risk you're going to take, you want to take you want to take the risk close to the end of the round because at least you know, at least you know when you take the risk close to the end of the round, if you do get rocked, they're not gonna have enough time to actually make it count. You know what I mean? And by making it count, I mean finishing the fight. So. Like, boo-hoo, he got rocked at the end of that round. He's okay. Oh, no! Oh, boy. There's the pressure. There's the pressure. There's the pressure. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, if he if he really goes at it, he's going to get me out of here. Because my, my head health is ridiculously... I mean, look at what one simple cross is doing to my block. I mean, look at, look at my block. He touches it. Yeah. <laughs> he knows yeah, this is this is exactly what you do. I think I'm winning this fight for sure. I just need to not get KO'd. Look at my my stamina though. Look at his stamina management. We're in round number four and I am good. There we go. Moving our head very well. I think his body is... He's feeling it for sure. God damn it! Oh my... Oh, I could not up kick. Fuck. Fuck! Fuck! Good fight, man. Good fight. That was good. Good fight. That was good. That was good. I cannot hate on that. He did. He he literally did what I would have done. <laughs> he literally did what I would have done. That's a mark of a good player. It's the mark of a good player. You 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 shut that shit down. He realized my block was get him completely butchered. He upped his offense in the, in in that last round. Started doing more boxing. Forced more work out of me. The moment he got that rock, he just went for it. Just went for it. Good shit, man. Good shit. Good shit. You fought a good fight. All right. We are going to end it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go right ahead and leave a like. It means a lot. Helps out the channel. And I will see you guys later today with another one. As always, stay safe. Peace out. Have a good one, boys.